It wouldn't be 2021 without an Elon Musk story, right? Dogecoin aside, Readify believes that Elon Musk's latest initiatives could be an absolute game changer for Australia and put even more pressure on the NBN, which is the last thing it thinks it needs. So as how is Elon going to do this? We have a lot to cover, roll the intro. Hello, Jeremy Tyree, Managing Director here at Readify. We solve complex and everyday telco challenges for enterprise clients and also like to break down all things telco and news in Australia. If you've had the fortune or solid planning to look up at night and notice a strange string of UFOs floating across the Australian skies, throw away your tinfoil hats, you are staring at the latest in Elon Musk's satellite project, Starlink. Starlink is SpaceX's ambitious project to build interconnected internet network with thousands of satellites known in the space industry as a constellation, designed to deliver high-speed internet to consumers anywhere on the planet. This is great news for Australia and New Zealand consumers as customers can expect this service to become available later on this year with a tentative 2021 launch date. Many Australian customers cringe at the sound of satellite services due to the incredibly poor service quality has produced over the last few decades. Australia being a large landmass and sparse population, satellite services have been providing dial-up spec speeds in the 21st century to all our rural communities for so long. Thankfully, Elon isn't just planning on revolutionising the satellite industry in Australia, albeit necessary. From Reedify's perspective, Starlink is set to become a genuine competitor for NBN, delivered via private enterprise that is planning to land rockets on Mars. It's that kind of innovative technology and leadership that has been sorely lacking since NBN's inception and has ultimately led to slow delivery times, HFC technology and billions above budget. Australia is also not Starlink guinea pig this time around having been delivered across North America with its beta program that commenced in October 2020 and already connecting more than 10,000 users. Starlink's performance is not theoretical or experimental and is a rapidly accelerating in real time as part of its initial rollout. SpaceX noted in its public re release that the services are meeting and exceeding 100-20 Mbps throughput to individual users or well, the vast majority of users were seeing latency at or below 31 milliseconds. Now to put things into perspective for you, NBN Co recently released a report in December that showed up to 238,000 premises are still unable to connect to 25 Mbps speeds. That is, after more than a decade, the NBN Co project costing $51 billion in taxpayers' money still has more than a quarter of a million people connected that are unable to get speeds that ADSL 2 Plus can provide. The inflexibility of MBN, slow delivery times and genuine performance issues create a market for Starlink that few would have considered possible for a satellite based services just a few years ago. This all comes on the back of recent reports from Elon that Starlink services will double its speed to 300 Mbps in 2021 and latency will be dropping to below 20 milliseconds. While major offices and operations wouldn't dare move off connected fibre services, secondary or temporary office locations will absolutely welcome the competition. Starlink, a private enterprise in America, is delivering speeds upwards of four times as fast without requesting a penny from the Australian government to deliver. The contrast is significant and so too the opportunity. And while latency is the concern and payoff for satellite technology, for most consumers and business applications, this will be more than enough to run remote sites that are akin to simply running over the NBN networks. But it gets better. NBN installations are so problematic that last year the government intervened and ordered missed or delayed appointments to be compensated with credits on customer accounts. Typical lead times for NBN connections can range from 4 to 16 weeks in metro areas making it cumbersome and lacking the scalability that most companies need when trading. This is particularly difficult with rural areas where few technicians are available and cabling problematic. With Starlink, all customers need to make the connection is to set up a small satellite dish in the office or at home, which is self-install, to receive the signal and pass the bandwidth to your router. Starlink even offers an app for Android and iOS that uses augmented reality to help customers pick the best location in their premises. Businesses can use a satellite anywhere, so if you relocate, just take it with you. Pricing for Australia is around $140 per month with unlimited usage, providing speeds between 50 to 100 Mbps and latency somewhere between 20 and 40 milliseconds. 
On top of the monthly subscription charge, Starlink satellites themselves cost $709 each with a $100 shipping and handling charge added on. Fiber or internet delivered via ground laid fiber optic cable offers upload and download speeds that are indeed much faster than satellite services. But as MBN has proven time and time again, there's nothing fast about deploying the infrastructure necessary to get fiber to people's homes or businesses. What we're talking about is convenience, reliability, and good enough speeds to compete directly with the current infrastructure in Australia. Redify has already developed plans and identified customer sites who will directly benefit from Starlink's release dates in later 2021, ensuring customer infrastructure is ready to go at each one of those sites. We have targeted customer sites who either have no MBN available or are unable to achieve fiber services that would be looking at tens of thousands of dollars worth of costs. Redify's managed network services to clients mean we can look directly at the benefits before the product is even ready. We don't just select plans and negotiate deals, we deliver and manage solutions for enterprise customers and solve their complex telco challenges. So, what do you think? Are you happy enough with the recent improvements of MBN or keen to jump on the Elon Bang wagon like we are? Thanks for watching this week's episode. Make sure to like and subscribe if you receive value from this, it really helps. And until next time, check your bills and know your numbers.